Yo, what's up guys, Sinti Golden here, welcome to this new episode. In today's video, we're gonna be playing with the most no skill deck in Clash Royale. There's a guy number three in the world right now using this Elixir Golem deck, and Elixir Golem, in my opinion, has always been the most no skill deck in Clash Royale. It has a triple spell, Void Spell, Arrows, and Rage. We're running with the Evil Wizard, Evil Skeletons, and then no Elixir Collector. This deck used to be really strong with Elixir Collector, but of course, nowadays, with all the Void Spell in the meta, Elixir Collector, yeah, kind of disappeared. And then this new version is, yeah, dominating the top leaderboard right now, even in the end season. See you guys soon with game number one. Okay, let's go, guys. Hope we get to game number one. Looks like we're up against this guy or maybe girl called Alexa Look. Okay, let's see. Give him a good luck and let's see what he or she is going to be running. Okay, uh, Balloon first play could be a Lava Hound deck, I guess. Let's cycle Wizard here. We do need to be careful because, um, yeah, might go with a Void spell. Looks like in, uh, it is indeed going to be Lava Hound. Okay, I'm actually going to go Skelly King here. I'm going to cycle Skeletons. And I'm going to go Elixir Golem at the bridge right now. Okay, unfortunately, it does have um, the... What's it called? The Void Spell. Let's go Arrows defensively. Even though the tower is going to go down, I think it's still worth it to go Arrows there. And then afterwards, I'm going to pop Ability. So, kind of a strange start. Who goes with a Balloon first play? Like, I feel like this is like a no-skill against a no-skill matchup. He went with... Or she went with Balloon first play. Lava onto the bridge, Void Spell, and then we also took the tower, of course, they're going with the Elixir Golem plus the Skelly King. So, kind of a strange start here, let's see, um, yeah, what's gonna do next, I think I'm just gonna prepare my Night Witch here, towards the left side lane, might go with like a Lava Hunt aggressively or something. Okay, let's go Night Witch now, let the Bomber be, let the Valkyrie be, and then I'm gonna go Night Witch, I'm gonna go Wizard, by the way guys, if you don't know, this is the anti-Void spot, many people might not know, many people might do know, but in this spot, the Void Spell cannot only take care of the Wizard, it's always going to hit the tower as well. So just, yeah, for you guys to know that, let's go here with the Elixir Golem. And then as you guys can see, it's not able to affect the um, Wizard fully. It's always going to hit the tower as well. Okay, let's prepare the arrows because we know that he has Bomber. So I want to, yeah, definitely take care of the Bomber as soon as possible. Let's then, okay, looks like he goes with Wizard. This time we can go with a Void Spell. And I'm actually going to Rage up everything. All the Elixir Golem, I'm going to Rage up the Wizard. And I'm going to Rage up the Skeleton King. And I think I'm even going to go Ability here. I don't know if he's enough Elixir for the Valkyrie. Okay, looks like he does have enough Elixir for the Valkyrie. So well played by him. But I think it's still worth it to force out the Elixir defensively. And then we already took down the second tower. So this deck is, yeah, just doesn't make any sense, guys. You guys can see right now how easy it is to play. We already took both towers without even really thinking about the push. Like, honestly, we just um, dropped all the troops at the field. And then we already took down the tower so easily there. Okay, let's go Elixir Golem towards the right side. Let's go Night Witch here as well. I think I'm going to go Skeleton King um, towards the right side as well. And then I'm going to prepare my Wizard once again in the anti... Okay, let's go Void Spell right away. And then I'm going to go Wizard here anti void spot perfect and i think i'm gonna go arrows yeah let's go arrows here to take care of everything let's then afterwards i think i'm gonna go with another elixir golem here he does go with void spell offensively he might take tower but i feel like afterwards we should just be able to easily trick on him let's go with a wizard here as well look at all the troops we have we do need to watch out with this balloon but i think we should be fine yeah look at all the troops we have on this king tower this deck doesn't make any sense guys very nice and very easy w what a strange game by the way i feel like both players in this case it was like the battle of the no skill he went balloon first play lava out at the bridge void spell and then just all in for the lava push and then we kind of also yeah almost always went all in with the elixir golem pushes so what a strange game to start off today's episode let's open to the second match right away and let's see what this guy is gonna be running okay i'm just gonna go eagle on first play. like honestly i don't really care i think this deck as i said you don't need to think too much about it when playing this deck i'm just gonna start my push right away and then here i can go with a void spell early i don't think he's gonna um yeah, expect it many people don't really expect the void spell that quickly and what oh my god he just gave us so much value um okay i'm definitely gonna rage here to kill the um, the little prince he just gave us so much value with the void spell what is this guy doing okay perfect and then i'm actually gonna go elixir golem on the right side with a knight which is well i don't think he's gonna have that much elixir he is gonna get some elixir from the elixir golem but he doesn't have pack and cycle and i think we should be able to get quite a lot of value here with the um, yeah, knight witch plus elixir golem push pekka went down right away by the way we can get a nice void spell here on top of the little prince is also gonna hit the guardian and the right side tower is already gonna go down he's trying to defend it as much as possible i think it's still gonna be tower down and then he also doesn't have any counter push what a crazy deck this guy yeah it just doesn't make sense guys i'm actually speechless right now because this deck is just so like i don't even know how to describe it how to explain it you guys are watching it right now it doesn't make any sense that we can play the way we're playing and then still we're just throwing this guy he did give us a lot of value with the void spell i must admit it but then again like look at the right side tower as well um went down so easily and then we have yeah zero counter push to deal with afterwards as well 
Okay, let's go Wizard here towards the left side. Let's then go with a Skeleton King to start cycling towards this left side lane as well. And then I guess I'm just gonna, um, yeah, wait a little bit, see what he does. I think I'm gonna try and go with Skeletons. Okay, let's make sure that the Wizard locks onto the Skeleton King. Afterwards, I'm then gonna go with, um, yeah, the Skeletons. I'm gonna go Arrows here defensively. And then I'm gonna go with my own Wizard. I think I'm gonna go with my Wizard up high to try and push back everything with the explosion okay that was kind of a strange interaction because his wizard also ended up dying but i think we definitely ended up um get yeah, defending that pretty well for all the things he had on the field there okay i think i'm gonna cycle mm, let's cycle a void spell here even though it's kind of strange to cycle a void spell against the ghost i think it's still worth it this way the void uh, the ghost is not gonna hit too much and i'm just gonna cycle towards the left side lane now okay so we need to be careful guys because this can still get scary okay i think i'm gonna cycle rage spell I'm just gonna try and cycle as many spells as possible. Perfect. We also hit the wizard, so that's awesome. Let's then go with a void spell here defensively. Let's go with, with a wizard here defensively as well. And then I'm gonna wait a little bit, see what he drops. Okay, let's try to get the evil skeletons going. He's probably gonna set them away. There you go. Let's go with a night witch right away. And then he calls good game. I think it might be good game. Don't wanna call to or don't wanna celebrate too early. But yeah, this is definitely looking like good game for us. We can even uh, try and pressure here. Okay, let's go elixir golem let's then go with wizard in the middle let's go with a rage as well left side um tower don't really care about it and then he already gave up people really yeah do kind of get tilted when playing against these decks because of course since it's so no skill um people most of the times do get kind of annoyed do get killed it i'm not gonna lie i also most of the times get tilted whenever i face these type of decks in basically any challenge or maybe even top ladder this deck also works as i showed before the top three in the world is currently using this deck and so far we had some really nice and easy matches i don't want to jinx myself but we're one win away from completing the grand challenge see you guys soon with the last match well hopefully the last match okay let's go guys look how we find the next match it might be the last match because of course if we win the grand challenge well if we win this match we win the grand challenge if we lose we're gonna have to be in an 11-2 situation which yeah i would not be the happiest about so it looks like this guy's actually running princess tower interesting to see a princess tower especially in a challenge where everyone can play the dagger dashes i feel like dagger dashes right now is yeah like a must play but princess tower i guess is not that bad either okay so let's see what we can do here i think i definitely um yeah might just start off the game we also did it in the last couple of matches it worked out quite well so why not let's just start off with elixir golem first play in the back here let's see what he's gonna respond with it he cycled a zap so could be oh looks like it's gonna be lava hound okay it's gonna be very important to use the anti uh void placement because most of the people with lava hound nowadays do end up running um get the void spell okay so wizard ready in the anti void spot let's then afterwards cycle skeleton king towards the left side and then as soon as the Lava Hound gets a little bit closer, I am going to go Wizard here. Okay, so can we get... I think I'm going to go with a Rage. Oh, maybe I should have gone Arrows right away. I think the Rage spell is still pretty decent, but maybe if I went with Arrows, would have been even better. Wizard is going to clean up the Lava Hound quite nicely. And then here I'm going to go Void Spell. I'm going to go Skeletons, making sure that the Inferno Dragon is not... No, I want to say that it's not in range, but it looks like it was still in range of the... Um, of the... What's it called? Of the Void Spell as well. Okay, the Balloon is going to get a lot of damage. Maybe I should have Arrowed making sure that it doesn't get another shot but i think we're still in a pretty decent situation not the best spot but at the same time not the worst spot we also got a decent amount of damage there wizard got a shot with one hp and i think if we yeah, use the arrows well on offense we should be fine okay let's see i definitely need to be careful though because i feel like he has decent defenses with the bomber with the skeleton dragons always need to be careful yeah when facing those type of cards Okay, let's go elixir golem towards the left side let's then go with a night witch to support it i would say night witch always behind the elixir golem it's just really annoying for them to deal with and then i'm gonna go wizard here in the anti um yeah void spot there you go let's have the arrows as low as possible because he's probably gonna go with the skeleton dragons there you go let's then go with our uh, rage plus arrows and i'm gonna go skeleton king plus skeletons evolution split okay perfect let's then go with ability towards the right side and I'm also gonna go, let's go Void Spell like this. I think it's worth it to take care of the Evil Bomber. Hopefully it's able to, yeah, fully take care of it. And then afterwards, I'm gonna prepare my Wizard again. Okay, let's go Wizard now. And then I think that should be already enough to defend this Lava Hound push. I don't think we need to overspend here. We can maybe kite everything with an Elixir Golem. Go with Nightwitch here to continue the pressure. But I don't think we need to, yeah, spend too much on defense there. And I'm gonna go Rage Spell as well, trying to kill everything. Let's go Arrows offensively. And look at the Elixir Golem. Elixir Golem actually can get a lot of damage. 
when I wouldn't say ignored because he did spend a lot of elixir, but look at the elixir. Um, how do you say golemites? I don't think, yeah, is it the same word in for the elixir golem? I think it is, right? The golemites, the elixir golemites. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Let's then go here with the wisdom defense. Please tell me that the balloon doesn't get a shot. There you go. Looks like the balloon not able to take the tower, and that's gonna be another very nice and easy W. That was a really quick video. I think I might do one more match, guys. I'm first gonna, of course, open the 12 win chest. And then I think I might even start. I don't think I have it maxed on leather. Let me quickly copy the deck. Um, and then I'm going to see if the last match is going to be on leather. Or the last match is going to be in another challenge. Looks like we do end up getting a legendary. That's amazing. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Looks like we get um, an Ice Wizard. Perfect. See you guys soon with the last match. Okay, guys. So I didn't have the Elixir Golem. And also the Scanned King maxed out. So that's why I'm going to be playing one more match in the Grand Challenge. We got a very nice and easy 12 win there. I was not expecting the matches and the video to be yeah this easy and this quick. So I'm actually going to end today's video with one extra match just to make it around maybe like 12-30 minutes. Usually I like to have the videos a little bit longer. Let's start off with Elixir Golem right away. And it's crazy how easy this deck is to use and then at the same time how strong it is. Now I understand why that guy is top um, yeah, 3 in the world right now using this deck. Like it doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's go Void Spell here. Let's then also Rage up the Elixir Golem. Let's see if we can take care of the Valkyrie. Ooh, if I, imagine I Rage Spell one second later. That would have been a perfect prediction. Of course, not a prediction, but would have, yeah, seemed like a prediction almost. And then here I'm actually going to go with Ability. And do I even need two arrows? I think I'm just going to let this be exactly what I was about to say. Because I think he is back to the Valkyrie. And then if I end the arrows there, yeah, wouldn't have changed anything. And I think this counter push with the Dagger Dash should be kind of easy to defend. Let's see what happens. Okay, he does go with another, or he, not another, but he does go with Elixir Collector. We can go with another Elixir Golem, and then I'm going to go Void Spell here. I did kind of forget about the Skeleton Army. Skeleton Army in some situations for three Elixir can get so much value. It's so annoying. i definitely going to have to yeah, keep my Rage Spell cycle to be able to deal with, um, with the Skeleton Army. Okay, so this is kind of a strange matchup, strange deck by him so far. Not really sure what his, uh, what his win condition is going to be. Okay, looks like it's gonna be Valkyrie plus um, Ram Rider. I'm actually gonna block the Valkyrie at the bridge, making sure the Ram Rider gets deal with as soon as possible. I feel like if the Valkyrie would have tanked for the Ram Rider there, we would have taken so much damage. Instead, here we did a pretty good defense. I think we're not even gonna take much damage. Um, at most, one Valkyrie shot, but the Valkyrie doesn't even make it. Yeah, close to the tower, so perfect. Okay, let's go with another Elixir Golem in the back. Let's go with a Night Witch here as well. And I feel like as soon as we have the right, how do you say that, like combination ready. We should be able to um, get, get a lot of value and a lot of damage done as well. So he tried to predict the Void Spell. Nice try by him, but it's not really worth it in my opinion. And here we can just have the Rage Spell ready for the Skeleton Army, which is probably going to come anytime soon. Let's go with Wizard here as well. It looks like he has a P.E.K.K.A. Okay, interesting. Let's go with Ability here. Let's have the Rage Spell ready, as I said, for whenever he drops the Skeleton Army. Looks like he doesn't go with the Skeleton Army. Instead, he goes with the Valkyrie. And then our troops are getting so much damage in the meantime. Okay, perfect. He just now goes with the Skeletal Army, but I don't think we need to Rage Spell that one because the Wizard was still there to yeah, take care of it. Okay, let's go Skeletons here. Let's then go with another Elixir Golem. And what is this matchup, by the way? He has such a strange deck. Um, Elixir Collector with P.E.K.K.A. Ram Rider. I mean, so far he's doing a pretty good job at defending, but at the same time, I think this yeah situation, this counter push is going to be really good for us. Okay, let's go. Let's see. Let's try to take care of the um, Electro Wizard. Then I'm going to have the Rage Spell ready, but I don't think we even need to have it ready because we have the... Okay, now I am going to Rage Spell just to make sure that we take care of the Electro Wizard, take care of the Valkyrie, and then this Wizard plus the Elixir Golem plus the Evil Skeletons push should go crazy. As you guys can see, we're going to take the tower, so that's actually crazy that from 9-1... To 12 1, we had like really easy matches, didn't really cost us. And I feel like this one was like the hardest match of today's video, but yeah, I guess it was just because we didn't really know what he was playing. That's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to smack the like button. If not, subscribe to the channel. Feel free to subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in one of my next videos. Take care, guys.